Hi everyone, this is Deja Yetmir from CrochetEverAfter.com and right now I'm going to show you how to foundation treble crochet. So this technique is going to combine your foundation chain with your first row of treble crochet into one. And the steps that I teach you will help you to remember how to do it without having to watch this tutorial over and over. So let's get started on that. I'm going to show you how to foundation treble crochet. I'm going to keep my tail short just so it's more visible in this picture, otherwise I would make it much longer. But I'm going to hold my yarn with my tail on the bottom just to make my slip knot. I like to turn it down and then reach through and just pull the working yarn through. Then I have my slip knot. So I'm going to put that on my hook and tighten it down. And then, to create my foundation treble crochet, all I need to do is to chain 5. And that's all the chaining that you will need to do in your project if this is what you're using for your treble, your first row of treble. So I chain 5 because what I need is a chain of 4 to count as my first treble and one extra chain to work into. Now, Remembering these steps can be a little difficult unless you're picturing what you're actually making. So yarn over twice like you would for any treble crochet and insert your hook into that fifth chain from your hook which is the very first chain you made. You're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Now if I was doing a regular treble crochet I would pull off in groups of two to take it off but what I need to do first is make my foundation chain. This stitch combines your foundation chain with your first row of treble crochet and remembering that will help you remember the steps to do this stitch so you don't have to keep watching the tutorial. So first I need to make my foundation chain by yarning over and pulling through just that first loop. And so what I did right here is created my very first foundation chain. And as I create my foundation treble crochets you're going to see that this foundation chain is going to look like the letter V on the bottom of your work, just like it would if you had worked into your bottom bump. It's also important to remember this foundation chain because this is where you're going to have to insert your hook after we finish this treble crochet. So to do our treble crochet now, we're going to work off in groups of two. So we yarn over and pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two, and yarn over and pull through the third two. So we just finished our very first foundation treble crochet and it looks like we have a big muddled mess. This is where we lose a lot of people. This is kind of where if you're learning from a book you give up because you have no idea where to put your stitch next. Just remember that we made a foundation chain down at the bottom which is this little two loops that we see. They're not quite foundation chain looking yet but Promise me, I promise you they will in a couple more stitches. So we're going to yarn over again twice to begin our next stitch. Now we need to insert our hook under that foundation chain we made. So we go under both loops. And then we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop again. Now we need to make our next foundation chain. Remember you have to do the chain first and then the treble crochet. So pull through just one loop to create your foundation chain and then create your treble. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay. I'm going to do another one and then I'll show you the bottom of how this is starting to look. So we yarn over twice again and we go for our bottom foundation. So we have that nice big loop right here that we can see a little bit better but you want to make sure that you grab the back loop also. So you grab that bottom loop also, yarn over and pull up your loop, and then create your foundation chain. Oops, be careful you only get one loop, and then finish your treble crochet. So yarn over and through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Now let's look at the bottom of our foundation chain and you can see that it's starting to take shape. Start to see the V's. That's going to help you with placing your hook also because you want to put it underneath that V. 
that next V you come to. So we'll do a couple more faster. Remember you create the foundation chain first and then the treble crochet. Just keep that in your head and you'll remember the steps and you'll find those two loops easier. You just turn your work if you can't see them um, very well. I'll show you what I mean by that on this next stitch. Yarn over twice. If I'm kind of confused where I'm supposed to put it, just turn your work, look for that V. You can see the V right there. Just put your hook right through that V. Catch it, yarn over and pull up the loop. Create the foundation chain and then create the treble. Depending on how many um, troubles you need for that first row, you just keep going until you have the correct amount. But you can see that my foundation chain is very springy, which is a great benefit of this um, stitch technique. And we also have a very nice edge without a lot of work. We don't have to work into a bottom bump to get this nice V edge. So that is how you're going to foundation treble crochet. Um, I have another tutorial on joining it in the round, so you can check that out if you need to work it in the round for, say, maybe a beanie or a cowl. And if you have any questions, leave them below. And that's all for now. Thank you.